Namaste everyone. Welcome to Yoga with Master D. And if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe the channel for more yoga practice videos, updates, tutorials, and much more. Probably we try to do the every third day a new video for you. Sometimes it is delayed because of some busy schedule, but we try that. Okay, so let's start. Today we are going to work on the hip. So we are trying to stretch the hip muscles. In the hip, primarily we are targeting our three muscles, which is gluteus, gluteus maximus, minimus, and minus. Okay, <coughs> so we have three muscles in the hip region. Okay, so those muscles we are going to work. Primarily, other muscles like hamstrings, okay, and like other the side of the lateral side or medial side of the leg muscles gonna stretch with that, that is free stretch, but our target gonna be glutes, okay, complete glutes region. Okay, so let's uh, start. Sit down comfortably. From here, right away, we're gonna raise the arms up. Very good. Breathe three times. Try to just bring your awareness to your breathe. Three. Two. One, drop the palm down, very good, come to your knees, and we will start from this position, which is Malasana, try to toes pointing outside, join the palm in front of the chest, keep your back straight, look forward. So here we're gonna sit down, you can move a little bit, your hips, very good, might be possible, some of you are not able to sit down here. <coughs> so just try as much as you can, breathe very good, one. You can start to feeling right away on the hip region, two, breathe. Three, four, five. Drop the palm down, straight your leg. Very good, slightly, very good. Look forward. You can see we are stretching the hip, but at the same time you can feel the hamstring muscles as well. Try to keep your legs a bit open today because once your legs are open, you may target your hip more than your quadriceps, but, oh sorry, thigh muscles, okay? But if your hamstring is too tight, so definitely you're gonna feel that one first. Very good, walk your leg forward in the front of the mat. Very nicely, very good. One more time, open the toes, toes pointing out, lower the hips down, join the palm. Very good, inhale, come up, all the way, arms up. Exhale, go down, keep your toes pointing out, slowly lower the hips down, very good, sit down. In the Malasana, again inhale, go up, arms up. Exhale, again, lower the hips down. Very good, sit down in Malasana. Try to keep your back straight. This is just a little bit warm up. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go down. Very good. Join the palm, look front, very good. Drop the palm down, straight your leg. Very good, both feet, both foot parallel to each other. Very good, inhale, look front. Very good, lengthen the spine, lift the chest. You can feel that, if you can see. You can feel the glutes very nicely. Very good, look forward, very good, one, two, three, inhale, take your right leg back, knee down, toes out, look forward, very good, one, breathe, two, three, inhale, take your right leg forward, left leg back, this is just for the mobility in around the hip joint, very good, one, two, three, inhale, left leg forward, one more time, right leg back, Knee down, toes out, look forward, try to lower the hips down. The more you can, definitely you're gonna feel the right hip flexors, but it just, we are trying to warm up the hip joint. Three, two, one inhale, right leg forward, left leg back, knee down, toes out, lower the hips down for three, two, one. Take your leg forward, again, head up, look up, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale, head down. Inhale, come all the way up, arms up. Exhale, join the palm. Just two rounds of the salutation, which is gonna be modified a bit. Toes pointing outwards to the corner of the mat here. Very good, join the palm, very good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, lower the hips down, very good. Come to Malasana, join the palm. Drop the palm down, turn your toes in. Very good, take your right leg back. Very good, back leg is straight, lower the hips down. Very good, lower the hips down, very good. Inhale, exhale, take your right leg forward, left leg back. Lower the hips down, very good, one, two, 
three, very good. Take your left leg forward, head up, look up, lengthen, look forward, turn your toes out, lower the hips down, join the palm in front of the chest. Very good, inhale, come up, stand up, very good, arms up, exhale again, bend the leg, very good, lower the hips down, join the palm. Very good, drop the palm down, very good, turn your toes in, very good, both foot parallel to each other, try to drop the palm down, right leg back, very good, and this time, try to place your both palm inside, very good, try to lower the hips down, you can feel the hip stretch very nicely, for three, two, one, very good, take your right leg forward, left leg back, very good, place your both palm inside, very good, lower the hips down, one, two, three, very good, inhale, take your left leg forward, very good, again, right leg back, both palm inside, lower the hips down, very good, look forward, three, two, one, very good, inhale, right leg forward, left leg back, palm inside, lower the hips down, three, two, one, now turn the right leg inside here, very good, all the way, drop the palm down, inhale, head up, look up, lengthen your spine, try to lift the chest up, try to press the palm down, just pull your chest forward, lengthen the spine, you can see with the hamstrings, you can feel your glutes as well, one, two, three, four, five, hold your ankle here and look the more you can, very good, towards the ground, and you can feel the top of the hips, very good, the glutes, very nicely, inhale, exhale, lower the head down, try to lean a bit forward, very good, one, two, three, four, five, drop the palm down, very good, head up, look up, lengthen your spine, now this time, try to turn your both toes outside here very nicely, toes pointing completely outside on the other corner of the mat, very good, try to place your palm down, try to lower the hips down the more you can, try to look forward. You can also place your palm on your knees, like this way, very good, and try to lower the hips down, or you can join the palm here, try to lower the hips down, maintain the balance, any variation you like to perform, you can go for, very good, one, two, Three, drop the palm down, you can drop the right palm down, inhale, raise your left arm up. One, lower the hips down, two, three, left palm down, right arm up. One, two, three, drop the palm down, now turn your toes in, head up, look up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, catch your ankle, head down. Inhale, head up, look up, look front, very good, turn the right leg forward, bring the arm forward, very good, Right leg back, hips higher, downward facing dog. Stay here in the downward facing dog, breathe. Here, try to keep your fingers separate. Make sure you have first one choice is just move your heels up and down, up and down, so you can feel the movement from the hip joint. Very good for three, two, one. Now try to lift your both heels up first, and then try to press the heels down on the ground and try to lift your toes up. Very good, make sure once you're looking back towards your heel, so you are not able to see your heel exactly. Very good, so that is gonna be very nice position. Keep your fingers separate, arms straight, and try to press your heel down, press your palm down, and lift the sitting bone higher, the more you can, very good, one. Two, three, four, five. Now from here, very good, take your right, palm, right leg out to side of your right palm here. Very good, or you can keep it in the, on the mat. Very good, keep your both palm inside on the ground, in the, on the mat, okay, inside the leg. Here, very good, try to lower the hips down, look forward, try to lift the chest up. The more you will lift your chest up, your hip will go down automatically, and you can feel the stretch on the hip region very nicely. One, keep your back leg straight completely. Two, three, four, breathe. Five, very good, from here, take the right leg back, hips higher, the more you can, very good, inhale, exhale, take your left leg forward, very good, by the side of your left palm, very good, lower the hips down, lift the chest up, look forward, very good, do not drop the knees down, make sure the knees is lifting up, very good, lower the hips down, try to push the hips down, try to lift the chest, two, three, 
four, five. Take your leg back, hips higher, very good. One, breathe. Lift your toes up, two, three, four, five. Now walk your leg forward, very good. Turn your toes all the way out. So make sure your all the toes are touching on the edge of the mat very nicely. Very good. Lower the hips down completely. The more you can join the palm, lift the chest and push your knees away by your elbow. We'll lift the chest, look forward. One, two, three, four, five. Drop the palm down, straight your leg. Very good here, very good. Now bring your both leg in the front, very good. If you want, you can place the block by the side of your feet. Okay, if you are not uh, very comfortable, if you are a beginner, very good. From here, very good. Take your right leg back and make sure to turn the back leg outwards, almost, almost 60 degree. Okay, and align your front heel to the back heel. Drop the palm down and now you might be turning this side. So try to turn your hips in the center line. Make sure your pelvic is facing forward. Lift the chest, very good. You can feel the stretch on the left glute right now. Your left foot is in front. So you're gonna feel on the left glute. The more you're gonna turn your body in the front side, make sure your forehead is aligned with the front leg very nicely here. You can feel that. One, you can stay here. Two, three, try to lower the head down. So try to drop the belly down first, then chest, then head down, and you can feel. One, keep your both leg active. Very good. Two, three, Four, five, inhale, head up, look front, very good. Take your right leg forward, left leg back, very good. And back leg again, 60 degree almost, almost, very good. Again, try to move your right hip backward the more you can, close your pelvic, you can feel the left glutes, or oh, sorry, right glutes, very good. Lift the chest, look forward, very good. One, breathe, try to align your body to keep your both legs straight and active. Three, exhale, lower the head down, slowly, slowly, one. Two, three, four, five. Very good. Inhale, head up. Now turn the right toes inside here. Very good. Wide angle posture is very common posture in yoga. Very good. Inhale, head up. Look up. Lengthen your spine. Here also we target our hip joint. Exhale, catch your heel or ankle. Make sure if you can touch your head down on the ground, you can close a bit your leg. Okay? Very good. Press the outer corner of the feet properly. Hold your heel, inhale, and exhale. Lower the head down. Try to lift your hips high. Try to bring the head down between the leg very nicely. The more you will go down, the more your hip gonna be target. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, head up. Very good, drop the palm down, look front. Very good, now turn the Heels all the way, okay, so you can turn your toes all the way outside, okay, by moving your heels or moving your toes, choice is yours. Very good, stay here first with the palm down. Or if you want, you can drop your forearm down in this way, this is gonna be really a little bit harder, but very lovely stretch on your hip. One, two, three, four, and five, drop the palm down, straight your leg, very good, turn the toes inside here, very good, inhale and exhale, move your hip to the right side, your left leg is straight, toes pointing towards the ceiling, very good, this is called a side lunge, very good, join the palm, very good, you can raise the arms up, very good, any kind of variation you like, but make sure you can, can do that nicely, very good, one, two, three, four, five. You can join the palm, switch the leg by your leg strength or drop the palm down and switch. This way, depends on your practice level. Join the palm or raise your arms up. Is again your choice. Make sure your right leg is straight. Toes pointing towards the ceiling, kneecap is locked and try to lower the hips down the more you can. One, two, three, four, and five. Now drop the palm down, straight your leg. Here, very good, now turn all the way to the front of the mat, very good, then take your right leg back, hips higher the more you can, very good here. Now drop the knees down, very good, and come to your knees. 
we're going to do a little bit preparation to move your hip joint more and more. If you have two blocks, you can use the block. That's gonna be a good choice. If you don't have a block, you can just sit down on the ground. Okay, like suppose you sit down on the ground with this position. Very good. This is called butterfly pose. Okay, this way. And if you have block, so you can place your one block like this way, another block here. So your hip gonna rest on this block, your feet gonna rest on this block. So this way. So what's gonna happen here, once you are with the block, so you have a lot of space under the knees. So your knees will able to move more down, more properly. Hold your toes properly, lift your chest up, keep your back straight, do not lean forward, do not arch so much, keep your back straight, and then move your knees up and down, up and down, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Down. Now release. Very good. Now you can remove the block out. Very good. This is. Uh, this time we are not targeting the glute maximus. We're trying to minimize or the other muscles. Okay, hold the toes very good. You can feel the different region for sure. Very good, your legs are slightly apart. Very good, this is diamond position. Inhale, you can move your hips side to side, lift the chest, move forward a bit and exhale. Try to bring the head down on the ground, one. But this is also very intense for your back. Two, three, four, Five, inhale head up and exhale release. And our final posture is the pigeon pose. Drop the palm down, come to knees. First make sure if you think this is too hard and you are a very beginner person, so you can place the block in the center here and put it under the hip. hip. Okay, so suppose if our right leg is forward, so you can put it under the right hip. Okay, I will show you how. So I go with the left leg, we start with the left leg. We come to the downward facing dog here. Inhale, lift your left leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring your leg forward here. If you are a very beginner person, make sure your heel is coming closer to the navel. If you are a bit practitioner, so your this sin bone is going to be more and more parallel to the front edge of the mat. It's your choice. Okay. Second, if your hip is not down, you can put this block or towel will be a good option under the hips and just drop the forearm down or head down this way, but if you can do this completely, then it's gonna look like this. Here, it's straight your arms, and then head down. Very good, we're gonna stay here for 10 count, one. Keep your back leg straight the more you can, try to roll your right thigh downwards internally. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then inhale, head up, drop the palm down, very good. And now from here, tuck your toes in, lift your knees up, and take your left leg back and switch your leg. Right leg up toward the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, bring the right leg forward. Very good, drop the knees down, sin bone down. And as I mentioned, if you're a beginner, heel closer to the hip joint or to the navel, you can say, if you're a practitioner, you can move it more forward side of the mat. Very good. Try to move your back leg far back, lower the hips down, and then slowly, slowly drop your forearm down, arms straight, head down. You can feel the hip stretch very nicely. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then inhale, head up, drop the palm down. Very good. Take your right leg back, hips higher the more you can. Now from here, drop the knees down. Cross your ankle and come to sit down. And we are going towards our last posture, which is very in interesting posture, which is cow facing pose. So what we are going to do is, 
You can do halfway as well if you're feeling too much. Okay, bend the right leg here and bring the knee above the another knee. Okay, like this way. You can stay here and you can hold your front foot and lower the chest down, chin down like this way. And try to drop your elbow down. You can feel little, little stretch on the right side glutes, okay, which is minimus and minus, okay. <laughs> okay, otherwise you can also bend this leg in this direction. This way, this is called cow posture, by the way, okay, but this is half variation we are going to do because we're trying to stretch the hip we are rather than performing this posture. So what we need to do is first we need to bring our both knees over each other as much as we can. So you can adjust your this knee by your hand this way. And first is this, then hold your foot here by the hand and then hold this one. And remember to keep your both sitting bone on the ground. It might be possible your hips lift up and you're not feeling the stretch. So keep the hips on the ground and hold this first. Nicely, you can start to feeling right away. Okay, and the more you will go downward side, lean down, you will try to drop your chest down and you're gonna feel fantastic. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, head up. If you want to have a little bit interesting things, so you can turn around all the way, make a circle, or just with happy face sitting down, change your leg, okay? So we're gonna be interesting one. So this is your hands, you can straight your hands, and you are going towards the left turn, okay? This side, all the way, drop the palm down, then lift your hips up, and then go sideways, and then lower the body down here. Very good, okay? Very nice, then again adjust your knees, knees over the each other, very good. Then hold your sole of foot properly by your hands, adjust it very nicely, keep your sitting bone on the ground, very nicely inhale and exhale, lower the chin down to the knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then inhale, head up and exhale, release. And now from here, come to Malasana here. Our last posture, very good means we are almost finished. We are just having a little talk. So this is our 15 to 20 minute of hip, which is glute muscles we are targeting today. Okay, a stretch for our glutes muscles. There may be many other stretches, okay, but this is as we are trying to prepare for the beginners. So this is a good way. And if every day you're sitting on this position, so this is first very good for your hip stretch. Second is very good for your removing all the waste material from your body. Okay, so this is, we can stay here for a while, breathe, remember, do not forget to subscribe the channel and share with your friends and comment which posture you like primarily out of these five to seven postures and do you feel the stretch? And if you have any question, any things you want to ask, so please comment below. Thank you very much, this is D. Thanks for watching Yoga with Master D. I wish you a good day ahead, bye-bye.